Uh, and that is a clip from uh, Martin McDonagh's new movie. Uh, it's The Banshees of Inisherin. Have I said that right, Martin? Yep, exactly. Okay. Written and directed by Martin. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb here. I might end up sounding really stupid. So <laughs> it's 1923. Mm. It's an island off Ireland. Colin Farrell, Brendan Gleeson. It's a very Irish movie. The first piece of music we hear is Bulgarian. <laughs> right or wrong? Good spot, yeah. yeah. Excellent. <laughs> I was sitting there thinking, I heard Paul Simon on the radio in the 1980s play that specific track, which is by, it's the love chant of, from an album called Les Mystères des Voix Bulgaires, and it's by the Bulgarian state radio and television female vocal choir. And I have loved that piece of music. Really? For Me too. 30 plus years and I've never heard it used in a movie so just explain <laughs> why, why you, then we can talk about the, the movie but that's Bulgarian that we hear at the beginning. Sugar that's a very good spot and you're the first person who's, who's noticed that it's not some Irish. Uh, it, well it's kind of to the English here it could be I suppose. Exactly and that's kind of but it literally was in my head and I knew that those opening shots of Colin walking through this beautiful island was going to have that that tune because I love it so much um, and sometimes you just chuck a weird thing in just because you think it'll be more cinematic than finding an Irish song but music wise throughout the whole thing with Carter Burwell the composer too we didn't want the usual sort of Irish uh, fiddle music background of, of, of for, for, for a score um, but no I love that tune to bits and I'm glad you do too. No, it's fantastic I mean it's like 50 years old or something that recording anyway it's yeah. terrific and it's on 4 AD records I remember that as well. Ah, so like it, the Pixies is yeah, it? Yeah so, something like that so anyway enough of the opening uh, sweet the opening kind of like 90 seconds of the film um, could you describe Banshees of Inner Sharon please? In its simplest terms it's, it's just about two blokes falling out you know um at the end of a of a platonic love affair in in some ways um it's as simple as as that there's a backdrop of, obviously of the irish civil war across the way which has sort of i guess me metaphorical aspects to the story but really for me on set it was just capturing the sadness of a breakup just on the on, on the irish civil war thing wh why was that i mean why is it 1923 why um just just to, just to um just to, to to mirror what's going on between these two men, I guess, and to show how uh, dark and awful a, a seemingly small falling out can become. Um, the Irish Civil War was fought between two sides who were fighting on the same side the year before, um, and and became horrific and bloody and uh, and so just to mirror that with these two guys was 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 the reason it's there. I Symbolic think. acrimony. A little bit. I kind of like, would like an audience to kind of come up with their own thoughts about it without, you know, over explaining it. But for me, that's what it was there for. You get a good joke out of that as well. At which... Well, when they're, when they're in the pub and they're discussing who's, who's fighting who and who's shooting who, <laughs> oh, and wouldn't yeah. it be easier if we were all just fighting the English like, <laughs> we, used to, like, like yeah. we used to be? Yeah, <laughs> kind of a little rude joke, but um, it will play well in Ireland. Yes, absolutely. You know, I, I still got the joke, but you know, play, maybe it plays less well here. Well, now, that was a great video, I thought. I couldn't it? take my eyes off it. And neither could they. Do you think they know that they can keep up to date with all things Kermit and Mayo's take by checking out our social channels? Well, they do now. Yes, they do.